What's up, guys? I'm gonna review this chamber. This is the uh, summit of the sea. All right, guys. This is the inside of my space capsule. I'm just getting ready for launch. That's the sound that you hear. No, actually, it's the uh, it's the compressor right there. I'm putting in some uh, air in here, and uh, this little guy right there. It's actually pumping in uh, fresh concentrated oxygen from uh, my concentrator got outside of it. I just don't have the little mask, you know, it goes on my face to uh, to breathe it in. It's supposed to make it like, you know, five sessions in one, basically, when you get concentrated oxygen in here. But, hey, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I, I still got like a foot down there. I'm like 5'9". Um, and uh, I still got some headroom. Got like a foot, foot behind me, too. If I like put my knees up, I'd actually put my knees up. Yeah, I'm like 5'9 or something. So there's a little bit of space in here. You know? Just kind of give you a sense. Believe it or not, I don't think there's any, you know, videos on the uh, inside of these things. So this is what it is. I'd say, you know, this is my elbow here. And, uh, it's about like a few inches away from the zipper. It's like my elbow. Just to give you an idea of like width or whatever. But, uh, I usually got my book here that I like to read while I'm in here. Um, it's a good book. I mean, it's all about like raw foods. I'm into raw foods, so it's all about like kids and stuff. Um, here's a section I'm reading right now on like autism. My cousin has uh, autism, so I'm kind of like helping him out with uh, different dietary things they can do and stuff like that. But, um, and uh, I think somewhere in the back of here they actually talk about chambers or whatever, actually. Um, you know, autistic kids putting in a chamber or whatever. But, yeah, so, you know, I mean, I usually spend, like, an hour in here, read a book, and, uh, sometimes I'm on the phone, helping somebody out, counseling them. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of stuff in here. So it's kind of nice, it's relaxing. And, uh, I got a window right there. Got one window. I think this is the smallest, uh, smallest sum of the sea. So you get, like, one window, which is fine. It lets in a lot of light. I kind of like it. You know, it almost looks brighter down there. That's just because just it's a white, you know, white chamber or whatever. But, I mean, this this is such a great thing to do. But, you know, it's it's just bullshit. I can't believe, you know, like these, some of these companies, you know, they won't, they won't sell some of these families or these kids or whatever who really need a chamber. I mean, these really sick kids. We'll give them a freaking chamber. You know, because, oh, the financing company, you know, couldn't come through. I mean, or whatever. Or they fall short, like, you know, $300, $400. Can't get a chamber, sorry kid, help you out. I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, how do you make money off these kids? I mean, how do you make money off anybody really sick? You know, this guy had terrible PTSD. A friend of a friend, he tried one of these out. And, uh, you know, he's not. he can't get disability from the, from the military. And uh, this is probably one of the few therapies that actually work really well for that. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, sorry. Sorry, we need to, you know, keep our lifestyle, uh, you know, nice and fancy. You know, selling all these chambers all the time. But when somebody actually really needs one, uh, you know, there's no program available. Nothing to help these people out. I mean, it's bullshit. You know, so I'm hoping, you know, with my site or whatever, I'll try to help out anybody I can in any way. Um, try to get your hands on a chamber any way possible. Uh, you know, just give me a call. See what I can do. And I have some connections. Uh, I've been able to help some people in the past. Um, but that's what I'm here to do. You know, I'm just here to kind of blow the whistle on any kind of bullshit that I see with these things. Um, you know, the consumers don't know about. And, you know, try to clean up the industry a little bit. You know, get these to people that really need them. You know. Um, anyways, it's a little shot of the zipper over here. So, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but the zipper's on the inside. And, uh, you gotta seal it up yourself, of course. There's actually no, uh, thing on the outside of it, but, you know, so if you had, like, your, your kid in here or something, um, depending on how young they are, I don't know if they could operate this thing, you know, unzip it from the inside. So, uh, if you had, like, a young kid or something, you'd probably have to be on the inside of this with them. Uh, unless they were really small, I, uh, I don't know, you'd probably have to go for a, uh, the, for the size a little bit larger if you had two people in here, but, um, 
Hey, we tell you this thing down here, by the way, is like a frame. It kind of keeps the whole thing propped up to inflate properly. But, um... Anyway, so I'm going to get out of this thing here in a second and see how it does. Um... Yeah, that hissing. It's uh, decompressing pretty fast right now. Hear my ears, feel my ears popping. <laughs> Gotta pop the ears, it's kinda, it's kinda intense. It's a little bit weird. I mean, if I didn't know how to pop my ears, you know, if I was like a kid or something, it'd be a little bit weird. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I right, so here I'm, I'm getting out of this thing. There we go. You can see